Well, it's a great pleasure for Wendy and me to have the opportunity to join Jeff and kick this off. And I first want to say thank you to Jeff. It's wonderful to have him here this evening. And as some of you might actually recall, Jeff was the keynote speaker at the very first kind event that we had in New York, which was back in 2010. It was in a different building, in a smaller room with fewer people, but it's fantastic to have him back here. We appreciate the interest that he has shown then and ever since. Yeah. See, that, that's a bigger round of applause. You know, it really reflects the, uh, the expertise that all of you bring to this room and the issues that KIND addresses every day. Uh, and on the other important legal issues of our time as well. And I just want to say as we start, we particularly appreciate you being with us tonight and being with us at a time when all of these things are going on. Good evening to everyone. Let me also say at the uh, outset, I want to say a big thank you on behalf of all of us on the board for everyone on the staff and everybody who has volunteered to help make this gala a success. Please give them a round of applause. Yeah, e each year the gala has become such an opportunity to get together, to reflect on the partnership and the issues and the progress of the last year, and really just see each other. I think that has become an important part of the collective progress that we have tried to pursue to really protect unaccompanied immigrant and refugee children. Uh, all of this means that KIND uh, and its comprehensive approach to legal services on the ground in the United States as well as on this focus uh, on the Northern Triangle of Central America uh, have more and more opportunity to get the attention they deserve from lawyers, from judges, from the media, from policymakers, and the public at large. We're the only organization in the United States that is solely dedicated to serving and advocating for this incredibly vulnerable group of children. We're not only working to change the lives of individual children, we're also working to change the world in which they live. And it's so clear that these things are going to need to come together. Many of you know us best through our in-depth support of the many private sector lawyers who are working diligently to provide high quality legal representation to children in their immigration proceedings. This work can literally mean the difference between the life and death for children who otherwise would be at risk of deportation back to the very conditions that they fled. KIND has trained a virtual army of over 12,500 lawyers, as Jeff mentioned. The firms, companies, and law schools here tonight, and many others across the United States, have encouraged and supported their staff as they tap into their legal skills and their compassion to help a child navigate the complexities of our immigration system. As a result, thousands of children will obtain protection and be free to live without fear of deportation back to the conditions that they fled. KIND also recognizes, however, that the safety of refugee and immigrant children is a shared responsibility that knows no borders and is not confined to the courtroom. For that reason, we strive to educate the media, Congress, the executive branch, and the White House about the children we serve. We encourage and deliver protection in the region through our return and reintegration project and our work on refugee resettlement. We address the root causes of child protection by engaging in research, particularly to support effective programming that addresses sexual violence against migrant children. We help draft legislation, we promote procedural reforms, and we spend countless hours on the phone with reporters, all to advance greater awareness of the rights of refugee and immigrant children and to ensure that none remains defense, defenseless and alone. Our work is holistic, it's cutting edge and in, innovative, and it's impactful. 
We're really proud this evening to honor a diverse range of partners that you're going to hear about and learn about a little bit further. All of these folks have helped us to realize Kind's vision. I think it's worth reflecting for a moment that in 2010, when Jeff was last here, as we first got started, we were focused on a, the problem of providing legal representation for unaccompanied kids that numbered roughly 8,500 per year. Little did we imagine that with each step we took to move forward, the events of the world would conspire, in effect, to put our vision of representing every child farther and farther away. Little could we possibly have imagined that we would meet here in 2016 and look back at the past two years and reflect upon the fact that more than 100,000 of these kids have come to the United States needing the help of a lawyer. Little could we imagine that we would come together in April of 2016 at a time when the murder rate in El Salvador is higher than it was at the height of the war in that country in the 1990s. Little could we imagine that in neighboring countries, the murder rate is almost as high. Little could we imagine that the prospects for improvement in the violence there would seem so dim. In short, little could we imagine that the need for lawyers would be so great. That's why we're so proud to be here this evening with all of you and with the companies and firms that we're honoring. The first company that you're going to hear and see a little bit about is the Walt Disney Company, a company we've all heard of. As we all know, Disney really fulfills its corporate mission to celebrate families and children by providing an extraordinary level of pro bono legal services to unaccompanied children. And we're joined by a number of terrific law firms, firms like Gibson Dunn and Hughes Hubbard, that have made their work with kind part of their strong pro bono commitment of giving back to communities in need. Another great firm, Lowenstein Sandler, has not only provided extensive pro bono representation to children, but it's provided office space, trainings, and was a key participant in the landmark appellate case in New Jersey. Arnold & Porter, a firm that has been involved in so many ways and so many pro bono activities for years, has built on its relationships throughout Latin America and has really led Kind's effort to create the first ever pro bono network of Central American law firms to assist children applying for refugee resettlement in the United States. And finally, we're very grateful to two other people we're recognizing this evening, Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid and Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren, both of whom have demonstrated extraordinary leadership by introducing the Fair Day in Court for Kids Act. Imagine that, a fair day for kids in court, mandating that no child ever appear in an immigration court unrepresented. 